Welcome to our second episode of the year of Bearcat News. To start this episode, we would like to celebrate our September-October birthdays. Happy birthday to Evan Shaner, Haley Scott, Riley Reeks, Carissa Auctor, Olivia Schmink, Mr. Witcher, Mr. Tothero, Mr. Flaherty, and Mr. Harms. Now over to Crosswalk Talk with Caden and Caleb. What's your favorite college? Duke. What's your dream college? Purdue University. What is your favorite sport? Volleyball. What's your dream college? Ohio State. What's your dream college? Uh, OSU. What is your favorite football or basketball or baseball team? Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. What's your favorite football team? Uh, my favorite football team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. What is your favorite sports team? St. Louis Cardinals. Wait. No for Bearcats. Who's your favorite football team? Um, I'd have to say the Cowboys. What is your favorite basketball team? Uh, Chicago Bulls. What sport would you love to be a starter for? I would most definitely choose volleyball. What's your favorite sport? Softball. What sport would you want to play professionally? Probably basketball. What is your favorite sport? Basketball. If you were a teacher, what would you teach? I would teach math. Who's your celebrity crush? Megan Fox. Who's your celebrity crush? Um, Megan Fox. If you had a celebrity crush, who would it be? Kelly Oubre. Who is your favorite teacher? It's Mrs. Murphy. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I would be invisible so I could jump scare people. If you had to have a superpower, what would it be? I think my superpower, I'd like to be able to fly. I can get places faster. My legs wouldn't be sore from walking. You know, I could fly to Florida for free. Um, you know, I could just zoom around wherever I wanted to. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, super speed. If you had to meet a famous person, who would it be? Uh, Kevin Durant and LeBron James. If you had a cast in a movie, what movie would it be in? Uh, the original Space Jam. If you had a cast in the movie, what movie would it be in? Um, probably The Sandlot. What is your favorite movie? Talladega Nights. Who's your best friend and why? Uh, Jordan Joseph Raymer. Uh, cause why not? Who's your favorite sibling and why? Uh, Lauren, because she lets me drive her car. If you had to meet a famous person, who would it be? Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Who's your best friend and why? Um, probably Coach DeWerf, um, because he's the only person that's nice to me. Who's your best friend and why? Janai, because she always understands me and she helps me through anything that I need help with. Thanks, Caden and Caleb. Now over to Caleb Henning with academics. For the past three weeks, Mrs. Cox's printing class have been printing the homecoming t-shirts for this year's Milford High School Olympic Games. The students learn how to lay out a t-shirt on the printing press, press the MHS logo onto the front of the shirt, and carefully paste it on using a die and a roller. After this process is finished, a student would take the shirts over to an oven where it was rolled through at high temperatures so the graphic would stick. This is what a finished t-shirt for the junior class team would look like. A big thanks to Mrs. Cox and her art class for getting the t-shirts done. Now to person of the week with Angel. I'm here with the person of the week, Ivor, and I'm going to be asking him some questions. Um, how would you describe the feeling of being a foreign exchange? It's um, it's very uh, scary at first. Once you get to know people, it's a lot easier. But you're kind of nervous in the start, but take some time, you used to stuff, and then and you're all good. You're all set. What's something you miss most about Norway? Uh, well, I really miss my, my family, my friends. Uh, obviously, you know, the feeling of being safe and know everyone and speaking your own language, but I would, I would say family, family and friends. It's probably the thing that I miss the most. What do you like to do in your free time? When I got time, I like to play basketball, listen to music, uh, watch TV shows, movies, uh, but I also like to hang out with my friends and do fun stuff or try new stuff that I haven't tried before. Were you nervous about coming to America? If so, what was the most nerve-wracking thing? Yeah, it was, uh, well, I've been here before, and that hasn't been too scary, but this time it's a different setting. Now I'm here for a year. I uh, actually got to get to know people and not just being on a vacation or a holiday. Um, scariest part was probably trying to fit into a community or get to know people in the school where everyone knows each other 
and then kind of be the, the new kid. But uh, people here have done a really good job, you know, accepting me with open hands. I appreciate that. And um, what's one thing you didn't expect about Milford? Well, I didn't expect the school team to be so good in all the different sports because it's such a, it's a smaller place, but the, the school spirit and the school teams are really good, as well as people are a lot more friendly than I thought. Just because where I'm from, people are kind of judgmental and not so friendly. Or here, everyone really accepted me. So that was really nice. Appreciated that. That's a wrap. Congratulations, Ivor, for getting person of the week. Now to weather with Cameron. Hi, I'm Cameron, your weatherman for this episode. For Monday, we'll have some scattered showers with a high of 77 and a low of 59 and a 32% chance of rain. For Tuesday, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 62 and an 18% chance of rain. For Wednesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 77 and a low of 58 and 24% chance of rain. For Thursday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 53 and a 23% chance of rain. And finally, for Friday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 71 and a low of 52 and a 17% chance of rain. That's all for this week's weather. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cameron. Lastly is our sports update. I'm Aiden Portwood. And I'm Max Cook, and we're here with the golf update. Aiden Portwood and Peyton Harwood made all conference. Aiden Portwood also placed third at the Wasika Invitation. Big shout out to Anna Hagen on her golf season. We celebrated a great senior night on a beautiful sunny day. She also shot a 51. Girls and boys both had a very good season. Lots of improvement from last to this year. The Lady Cats have had a busy couple weeks. Here are some stats from the last couple games. They defeated Westville 26-24, 25-16. The stat leaders were Anna McEwen with 8 kills, 12 digs, Emily Marshner with 19 digs, Kelly Murray with 11 digs and 7 blocks, and Janina with 14 assists. They defeated Armstrong 17-25, 25-23, and 25-14. The stat leaders were Kaylee Mowry with 17 kills, Anna McCune with 11 kills and 14 digs, Emily Marshner with 24 digs, and Janelle Vicka with 23 assists. They defeated Bismarck 25-19, 25-22. The stat leaders were Hunter Mowry with 9 kills, Emily Marshner with 15 digs and 5 kills, and Janelle Vicka with 16 assists. They also defeated Salt Fork 25-18, 25-15. The stat leaders were Kaylee Maurer with 9 kills, Anna McCune with 15 digs, and Janai Levicka with 13 assists. They later on defeated Hoopston 25-10, 25-8. The stat leaders were Brinley Wright with 8 kills, Emily Marshall with 13 digs and 3 kills, and Anna McCune with 11 digs and 4 kills. The Lady Bearcats defeated Gibson City and Iroquois West in the Watsika tournament, later on being defeated by PVL in 3 sets. Piatone also in 3 sets. Nice try, ladies. The Lady Cats record is 17 and 3, 7 0 in conference. Now with our soccer updates. The soccer team is 3 and 19 for the season and wins against First Baptist Christian, Blue Ridge, Deland, Weldon, and Ridgeview. Good luck to the rest of the season. Thank you, everyone. Sounds like things are going well in the sports world. Every student in the high school is entered into a drawing to win a free grill and chill lunch. Thank you to Grill and Show. Thank you everyone for tuning in to our second episode of the year. We will see you in two weeks for our next episode. Thank you and have a great day.